let's talk about text to speech. So some students need text to speech enabled for their tests in Mastery Connect or their assessments. So what we're going to do is we're going to hover over the name of a student who needs this accommodation. Let's say, for example, Terry Boot, and we will see the word edit pop up. We're going to click on that and then in this pop-up box, we'll click this box right here that says allow text to speech for compatible assessments. Okay, and we'll hit save and let me show you what this looks like in just a moment. All right, so this is a test that is open and that is being administered right now um, where a student is in here. So they get this little um, toolbar and they can click the four-way stop here and drag that anywhere they want to on the screen and if they just click play it will start at the beginning they can hit pause they can hit stop they can click as long as this is playing they can click this button and then they can click on something else and have it start reading at that point and that's it that's really the basic toolbar for text to speech now as long as you have enabled this for this person um, that feature will be available on any test that they take, any assessment that they take uh, from your tracker for the entire time you're using that tracker. So usually for the semester, you're good, okay? Now, I want to remind you, though, that there are limitations to this. So um, screen readers cannot read photographs. And so any images, you know, won't read anything for that. And also um, that may also apply when you are dealing with reading passages. So when you create reading passages or anybody creates reading passages in an item bank, um, what happens is some people upload an image, a picture of the text instead of like typing the text. Um, anybody who types the text all in there or copies and pastes the text in there, uh, then the screen reader is going to read that. But if they have a photograph, like a scanned image from a book or something, it will not um, read that in particular. Also, um, if you're giving document-based assessments, so like um, you're uploading a PDF of a test and they're using that instead of going actually into the question-by-question -question interface, then the screen reader doesn't do that. And so in those cases, you're going to need to use either a browser extension type of screen reader, or um, if they're on a Chromebook, uh, they can use Chromebox um, by just doing Control Alt Z. That will enable Chromebox. That is an automatic um, tool that comes with a Chromebook, and that will enable screen reading. And so they can try that for um, their documents. Okay, so there are limitations to this screen reader, but if you have students with that accommodation, I definitely would suggest that you go through and enable that com accommodation for those kids um, so that it's always there and they can use it when it is possible.